All right, Carly, thank you. Well, do you ever get nervous before a big presentation or an important talk with your boss? Studies show companies can lose up to $375 million a year because of lack of confidence and poor communication. So what do we do? Let's talk to this guy here over here, Rich Bracken, friend of the show, has got some ideas on this Motivational Monday. And uh, Rich, you're going to introduce us to something that I don't think a lot of people have heard about. It's called executive presence. Yeah. What is it? So executive presence really starts in the self-belief that we are valuable and that we are worthy of what we're trying to do. And it pre predominantly is on the professional side, but it also has a lot of personal benefits as well. But it's that gravitas. It's that feeling that when somebody walks in a room, you feel immediately confident or taken care of because they have this leadership quality about them. They have this calm presence about them. You know, we have those people in our lives that you know, when, you wa when they walk in the room or when you're in their presence, you feel better. That is what it's all about. It's that, that feeling, that gravitas that somebody has to be able to communicate with a lot of people with that self-confidence, with that personal brand. Yeah. yeah. You've been talking to a lot of companies about this, how they can work on it personally and professionally. What are some tools, you know, for someone who's maybe shy and not as confident? Yeah. A lot of times it comes down to just practicing and understanding that you need to get the feedback on what your personal brand is. A lot of us don't really pay attention to our personal brand unless we're in the professional world and we're thinking about it more often. But at the same time, a lot of executives are not paying attention to how they're coming across in meetings, what they look like online, when they go to different conferences, when they're talking with other companies. So it's really important to understand that you need to get that feedback on your personal brand as an executive. But again, on the personal side of things, if you think about your friends, your family, everybody has a personal brand when they, when they approach you or when you're interacting with them. Like when I think about the two of y'all, you have a very comfortable personal brand about you. You're very easy to talk to. Now, not everybody is like that, but it all comes down to how are you portraying yourself? What is your body posture? What is your, how, are you a good active listener? Are you a good communicator? Those are the kinds of things that play into our executive and our personal presence when we in interact with other people. Hmm, that is really interesting. And you, you've said that repetition can improve your confidence. So are there other ways that to improve your confidence? Oh, there's tons of ways to improve it. So when you think about it, first of all, we often talk negatively about ourselves. We were talking right before we came on about this imposter syndrome yeah. concept. I hate that guy. I, I know. I, it that is the Oh, my God. <laughs> it that, is, in. That, is, that is the worst feeling in the entire world. Yeah. But when that starts creeping in, if you start talking to yourself, that positive self-talk of saying, look, I, I deserve to be in this position. I deserve to be interviewing for that raise or that, that, that promotion or that new job. Same thing with our personal confidence as well. You know, I deserve to be in this room. I deserve to talk to these people. I deserve to be, you know, looked at in a very confident manner. And if we have that first, that is what's going to help us. But as if we're doing presentations, if we're doing, you know, public speaking engagements, we talked about that a minute ago too. Yeah. If you're practicing those, those things and, and that repetition brings about confidence. But again, it's all about body posture too. I can't tell you how many times I coach executives or individuals at companies where they're not portraying that positive body confidence. Confidence, and that has a ton to do with how you come across. Mm. Okay, speaking of that, a good example of executive presence, putting that into action, what are some good examples? Yeah, so one, it's, it's, the, it's the, body, the positive body language as well. So when you think about, like, if you go into a meeting and you're sitting there and you're slouched over or you're, you're condensing your body, you're not going to be as confident. Same thing in a social situation. If you walk into a networking meeting or if you walk into a social situation and you're cowering your shoulders over or you're not, you know, making eye contact, if you're looking at the ground or looking around when you're talking to people, that portrays a very negative image. Yeah. So when you go into an, a social meeting, especially, like, anybody that's listening, next time you go talk to somebody, make really good eye contact. Bring your shoulders back. Smile when you talk. Those elements alone will help you have a more positive image of yourself, and then other people are going to view you in a more positive image as well. I like that. Those are really simple ways that you can improve your confidence. I can see that. How can that change your mindset? If you're in a situation where you're in a room of people and you're feeling like, oh gosh, I don't really know. No, get the imposter out of there. I deserve to be here. Yeah. This exactly. is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I want to be doing, yes. and I deserve it. So let's go. I love exactly. it. And See, you turn you're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> you're living yeah. the example right now. Yep. And I, that really can help you to like lean into the challenge. Mm -hmm. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? So um, I love that. Yeah. Great tips. Where can people find you, Rich? <laughs> uh, you can find everything about me on richbracken.com. And like I said, it's, it's uh, a great opportunity to talk more about how people can improve their, their self-confidence as well. Great topic. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Rich. <laughs> Good to see you all. You too.